Yo, what's good everybody? It's me, JT, and we are back today with another video. And if you guys and gals happen to see hashtag free Splatoon trending on whatever social media website you are, just understand that this isn't a free copy of Splatoon, that this isn't something new for an event for Splatoon. This is actually a very serious issue that I'm going to get into because Nintendo is being petty. They're being very petty. They're being very stupid when it comes to just easy community choices like this. And, you know, it's a very big problem. If you guys and gals didn't know what I'm talking about, Nintendo has recently shut down a Splatoon online event because there were certain players on the team protesting against the hashtag free melee movement. Now, if you guys and gals don't know what the free melee movement is, it's basically uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Super Smash Brothers Melee. There was going to be online tournaments for those, and Nintendo came in and wiped it out as soon as they realized that melee was using online copies and using Slippy, which is a hardware that gives enhancements and better net code for melee to be playable online because if you guys and gals don't know melee is not purchasable to be played online you know it's a gamecube game it's severely outdated people are still playing the game on crts but since we have to move everything to online tournaments that's a big problem for Nintendo. So they came in, they sent out a cease and desist. That's happened a while back, and there's been a big movement behind it ever since. And players have been calling to Nintendo, telling Nintendo, listen, we want our games to be treated with the same respect as other companies treat their games. You know, you know, PlayStation 4, it is the home to a lot of great fighting games. Tekken 7s, primarily Street Fighter 5 as well, as it being a console exclusive for that console only. And a lot of players want to see Nintendo just show a little bit more support to the smash scene you know not even just allowing it to have money poured into it but in general people just want to see smash being played online you know freely played you know whether it's melee or ultimate people just want to see nintendo allow that and maybe even on top if they want to support that going on now as you guys and gals can see here from this image free splatoon has been trending it trended on my personal what's happening page for me uh it may be different for some individuals it didn't trend worldwide as it's still growing and it's still a situation that's growing from here on out but there's another tweet that i wanted to show to everyone here just to prove the fact that this is going on and it has to go from another user that talks about these splatoon tournaments getting shut down so there's this user named slimy and they posted here they said that so the splatoon community in supported smash community has 30 percent of the top teams in this weekend splatoon na which is the open tournament and has team names in support of melee and smash so he says what is nintendo of america and nintendo versus do in response they canceled their live stream for tomorrow's finals they go on to say this they go on to say to be clear this is nintendo's call not any of the to's or broadcaster they've enlisted for the weekend this is damage control and outright spit in the face to all of their dedicated competitive scenes but we ain't surprised and then they continue to go on and say this they continue to say it's kind of funny that they'll sever their own support that they love to parade around as something fantastic just because the splatoon community wanted to stand in solidarity with other scenes that Nintendo outright harms and this is a very interesting thing here because it shows off the discord admins talking about how they're gonna shut down the scene they're gonna shut down just specifically the live stream for this event and then it shows the list of names that many different users put on as their overall name do you see you even got like a link there to free melee uh, right there in the names so this is something that's very serious you know even Splatoon players want to see Nintendo add more representation to a game that even the Splatoon players aren't even playing. Personally, I've always had this thing with Nintendo, and I don't want it to seem like I'm hating on Nintendo because I love Nintendo. Look, Nintendo Switch is my favorite thing to play on, all right? It is one of my favorite consoles. It's been my favorite consoles for these many years. Nintendo has always had a big place in my heart, but they made a lot of changes when it came to this and i was hoping that one of the changes that they would come with is by supporting their communities more when it comes to nintendo they seem to just fail on hitting the mark of supporting community they talk to community they take feedback from the community but they never really enforce that feedback and they never really try to make a gigantic push to let the community know that nintendo is there for them it's always been nintendo makes games they make the nintendo switch and they push it out which is understandable if you're on a company standpoint but we're we're growing to be more of a society that wants to connect more with the corporations themselves. People want to know that the corporation understands and that the corporation is trying their best to be as flexible and transparent with the community as possible. And this needs to be especially said when it comes to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and their actions today just really shows that Nintendo doesn't 
care about their competitive fan base. Not every company has to care about their competitive fan base, but I just don't understand what Nintendo's missing out when it comes to this situation. Like, this is free advertising. This is free people going out and watching your game, possibly even buying your game. Even if it's a game like Melee, it's getting more people into the scene, which helps grow communities. And these communities feel like they can't grow because you're not supporting them. You're not giving them a reason to look at this content. You know, you're not giving people a reason to go out and compete. A lot of people put their livelihood in jeopardy when they play in these tournaments because they walk in and they don't know if they're going to be winning or losing today. You know, they have to pay bills. They have to go back home. They're a part of esports teams that just can't keep them in a house forever. That's the reality of the situation. And it just seems that when you're a fan and when you're a competitive player, both of these groups don't feel like Nintendo wants to support them. I just think that if you're a company like this, you should be trying your best to be as transparent as you can with your audience and at least give a reason, a strong reason from the company's mouth themselves as to why they don't want these games garnishing support. You know, it just feels weird. It seems like, you know, it's it's just stupid. It's really dumb. Why would you host invitationals every single year? Why would you host an invitational when the game came out and released in the beginning with all the variants of players coming out and competing? and even old pros from esports scenes that you did just seems like nintendo really wants to have all the pro players in the spotlight for when it looks good but then pushes them aside when they really don't care and that just pisses me off personally i'm very hyped up i'm very mad i'm passionate when it comes to my fellow community when it comes to my fellow gamers and i'm passionate when it comes to nintendo because they're a good company and i think that they just need to stop being greedy stop being petty and get their head screwed on right because they're missing a lot of shots that honestly shouldn't be missed it's point blank with these shots here but I'd like to hear what you guys and gals have to say in the comments below. Do you think Nintendo's actions are justified here? Do you think that they're not justified? And what do you think about these Smash and Splatoon communities sort of like joining ties together and trying to fight against Nintendo on this specific topic? I would like to know that in the comments down below. Thank you guys and gals for watching and peace out.